Hello my friends, Leo, Irish Zombie Nation here. Today I have something different for you than I've ever done before. This is going to be like a little variety show. You know, I'm going to dance and sing. No, I'm not going to do any of that. <laughs> uh, but basically there's no knife review, there's no flashlight, there's no backpack, there's no camping trip, hiking, none of that stuff today. Instead, uh, I was bored last night, I got on Facebook and I decided to do this little uh, question deal. I don't know how to describe it exactly. Uh, basically, I give you four facts about myself. Three of them are true and one is a lie and you got to guess which one is the lie. So I stole this idea from Robert Ricks, the Angry Jackalope. He's done it before on his channel. I thought it was fun, so I said I'd do it on Facebook. I didn't plan on doing anything with it, but what we're going to do is give away a free Irish Zombie Nation morale patch to the person that in the comments on my Facebook page got it correct. So, and then... You know, after I, I'm going to let you guys play along with this too, and I'm going to tell you what these items are, and then I'm going to go outside at the bar, and we're going to do a whiskey review on some of this stuff right here. This is why it's kind of a variety show. Uh, this is the Stillhouse America's Finest Corn Whiskey. This is straight up moonshine and what looks like an old oil can. So we're going to give this sucker a shot, but for now, we're going to get on to the four facts. Now, let me see what they are here. All right. So remember, three of these are true, one is a lie, you got to guess which one the lie is. And then after we do the whiskey review, I will say who the Facebook winner was of the Irish Zombie Nation morale patch. So, all right, number one, you ready for it? I almost killed my best friend while we were uh, out in the woods and he was high on acid and he was trying to drag me into the woods. All right, so that's number one. Almost killed my best friend because he was high on acid and trying to drag me into the woods. All right, number two. Uh, I once shoplifted and got arrested for shoplifting uh, cool water cologne from a Kmart, all right? Now, most of these things, of course, were when I was younger. I don't do these things as an adult, so. Uh, all right, now, number three, or I just put up two fingers, three, three. Number three is, I once snuck onto the USS Nimitz aircraft carrier in the middle of the night, all right? That's number three, all right? Now, last one, number four, is... I once had nipple piercings that I stretched to eight gauge barbells myself. All right. Now, I don't know if you know how big an eight gauge barbell is, but it's a decent sized barbell. Uh, anyway, those are the four items. So I put them up on the screen. You read them as they came across. So it is now your job or if you want to play along or whatever uh, to guess which one is the lie. All right. Three are true. One is a lie. But before I get on to telling you what the answer to that is, and I'm going to give you a little story behind each of those as well, we're going to go outside of the bar, we're going to grab us a mason jar, because that is the only way to drink moonshine, and we're going to give this a shot, I'm going to tell you what I think. So, out to the bar we go. Alright boys and girls, thanks for coming out and joining me at the bar, amply named Hardesty's Hole, established 2013, Hardesty's Hole, insert your own joke right there. <laughs> uh, we're going to be testing out the Stillhouse America's Finest Original Whiskey. Now this stuff comes in different flavors. They've got like a, a peach and a, I don't know, a bunch of different flavors, uh, apple pie and all kinds of crap like that. I just got the standard white corn whiskey because I want to torture myself, obviously. Uh, let's see, what does it say on the back? Stillhouse is crafted using our proprietary all-natural recipe and estate-grown corn. It's distilled in a traditional copper whiskey still then charcoal filtered with superior quality and taste, allowing the natural sweetness of the corn to shine through. Shine through. You think that's a little pun right there? A remarkably mellow flavor and smooth finish makes this a truly versatile clear spirit. So, uh, first of all, the presentation, the can, looks really cool. It looks like an old oil can from the 20s or 30s or something. That's really nice. I do like that. I'm probably, even when this is gone, I'm going to keep this can just for the uh, like decorative purposes of it. So, right off the bat... My God, that does not smell good at all. Uh, no, nope, not at all in any way whatsoever. Got myself a mason jar. We're going to pour a little bit in there. Oh God, I bet I could probably run my Harley on this stuff. I <laughs> uh, wonder what the octane is. All right, still house. Now, I usually back my whiskey with iced tea or something like that. Uh, or I'll drink it straight. It just depends on my mood. Uh, this, though, I got some fruit punch in this cup right here because I need something that's going to really overpower this if it's going to be as bad as I think. Uh, but, you know, hey, I'm here uh, to entertain you guys, and I am here to try out things that you might not other tr otherwise try out yourself. So, look at that sucker. Completely clear. Corn whiskey. Some good old moonshine, boy. Let's give her a sip and see how she tastes. Oh, God. I'm scared. I'm really scared.
Oh, God. Oh. Oh. All right, let me try that again. Maybe I didn't do it right the first time. Oh, no, I did it right. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, that is horrible. <clears throat> I don't understand why people even want to drink moonshine anymore. There's a reason that people used to make moonshine because they just wanted to make their own liquor. And, uh, you know, we developed all these different techniques for making whiskey taste better, different finishes and casks and, you know, American oak barrels and stuff. I don't know why anyone would want this clear crap because it is horrible. If I had to say this tastes like something, uh, it's certainly not sweet corn. I would say if you were to get like a bag of assholes and crush them up and liquefy them, like a whole bag of assholes, that's what this tastes like, a crushed bag of liquefied assholes. So uh, that's my review on this stuff. I'm just going to set that over there and set that over there, and uh, I'm going to take another sip of this. I'm going to go back inside and tell you guys which one of those facts we were talking about a minute ago uh, was true. But actually, before we get to that, I'm going to put another little video in here, a little surprise. Uh, I put this up on Facebook as well, I think Instagram. Uh, I saw somebody do this uh, in a video, and I said I'm going to do it to my kids. So if you guys are looking for a good little prank to play on your uh, young child, you know, 10 or under, it's got to be a smaller kid to do it, uh, watch this. So you can see your legs. All right. All right, dogs, get out of here. Get it. Shoot, shoot. All right. Nope, put your legs back the way they work. All right, now this is the trick. Okay. You have to, I'm going to wipe all this up, and you have to try to stab my hand before I'm able to wipe all this water up. Think you can do it? Think fast enough? All right, you ready? <laughs> I win. All right, everybody, we're back inside now, and I'm going to reveal which one of those four facts that I said earlier was a lie. The answer is number two. Number two, the shoplifting cool water cologne from a Kmart and getting arrested for it. Uh, I did shoplift cologne from a Kmart once when I was a teenager, and uh, I don't remember if it was cool water or what, but I remember I liked that back in the day because uh, it was in a Snoop Dogg video and he sang about it and I thought it was fun. So uh, cool water cologne is what I wore when I was a teenager and uh, I shoplifted some kind of cologne, I don't remember what, from a Kmart, but I never got caught and I was never arrested. So there you go. Number two is the lie. Now on to the ones that were true. Number one, about my friend being a high on acid and trying to drag me in the woods. If you saw my Q&A video from like a year or so ago, uh, 10 questions and answers from the Irish Zombie Nation, you guys asked me a, a question about my worst experience in the woods, and I told you about that time. My friend was all jacked up on drugs and trying to drag me to the moon because he thought that was the tunnel to get to God and so on and so forth. So if you want to know the further in-depth deal with that story, link in the description box below to that video and you'll get the whole story. It's pretty uh, interesting. <laughs> All right, uh, so number two is the lie, uh, obviously. And now three, I snuck onto the USS Nimitz aircraft carrier. Now, that would be, I, I think most people would guess that's the one that, that's not true because it's not easy to sneak onto an aircraft carrier. However, uh, growing up as a teenager, my mother was uh, married to a guy in the Navy, so my stepfather was in the Navy. Therefore, I had a military ID. I was a Navy brat. Now, my friend, best friend in uh, high school, he dropped out of high school, went to a trade school, and got a welding degree. And he was contracted because we lived right across uh, in from, uh, what is it? It's Puget Sound, uh, Bremerton. There's some kind of base over there where all the submarines and everything go. I can't remember the name of the base. Uh, but over Bremerton, Washington, um, if, I, if that's even the name of the town. Anyway, uh, the USS Nimitz was stationed there. He was contracted to do some welding on that thing. So he had a pass to get on and off the ship whenever he wanted. And I had my military ID, so we were young. He was uh, like 19, I was 17 or something. I can't remember the exact age, but uh, we came at like 11 o'clock at night and the security guard just, you know, the guy standing there, standing watch through the gate, uh, just looked at our IDs and let us go right in. I mean, no questions, no, you look young, nothing. Just walked right on. So we, on our own, just got to walk around the deck of the USS Nimitz, went down into the ship, you know, saw the door that led to the... Uh, to the nuclear reactor and all that stuff, of course, you can't go anywhere, you know, past that. But all the common area that everyone's allowed to go into, we just roamed around. My friend showed me what he was working on. Uh, yeah, snuck onto a aircraft carrier when I was a kid. 
Uh, kind of. I mean, I didn't really sneak on. I had an ID to get on the base. Uh, I just don't know if I was supposed to be on the aircraft carrier. I'd been on it before with my dad, like, walking me around and stuff. Uh, but I, I don't think I was supposed to be there at that time. But, yeah, snuck onto it. So, and then number four. What was number four? I don't even remember what number four was now. Uh, number four was the, oh, nipple piercings. Yes. Uh, I was big into body piercing when I was younger. I did body piercing as a, as a kind of a job for a while. Uh, I sold body jewelry, worked at a very popular place here in Kansas city. Uh, they used to do piercings. And, uh, when I was there, I had tongue pierced. I had the back of my neck, all kinds of crap when I was like, I don't know, 25, something like that. 22. I don't remember really young. And uh, I pierced my, or I had my nipples pierced. They start off with like, I think 14 gauge barbells. Well, I stretched them up to eight gauge. And eight gauge is like, I don't know if you can see that very well, but like that thick. So hurt like hell every time I did it. Uh, eventually though, you know, they got to the point where they were, you know, snagging on shirts and they became uncomfortable. They started to rip a little bit in one spot. So I just took them out and I took out all my piercings. I used to have, like I said, a bunch of stuff done and I took them all out. Just, you know, I got older and just don't want all that crap on me anymore. Uh, the one thing that I was doing a bouncing job once and, uh, I was throwing this guy out of a bar and, uh, he grabbed me by the back of the neck and I had a neck pier, you know, the, it's, it's called a nape piercing. It's in the back of your neck right here. Two little barbells come up like that and then the bar goes underneath your skin. And, uh, he grabbed me right there and, oh man, that hurt like hell. So I decided I should probably, uh, get rid of all that kind of stuff. So there you go, guys. That's it. That's the, uh, answers. Oh, the, who, who won on Facebook? Uh, What's his name? Dan, let me look again real quick. Sorry. All right. The winner uh, is Daniel Lindstromberg. If that's how I say it, man. Daniel Lindstromberg, you guessed number two. You are the winner of the Irish Zombie Nation morale patch. So uh, email me, irishzombination at gmail.com and uh, send me your address and I will mail you that patch, man. Uh, thanks everyone for you know playing the game and uh, watching this video. Thanks for watching me drink that horrible a uh, disgusting bag of crap or tin thing of crap over there. That was so bad. I, I think I need to like rinse my mouth out with gasoline to get that taste out of my mouth. So, all right, that's enough for today. Uh, more videos coming up. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below if you got anything you want to say. And until next time, I will see you around the fire. All right, Mr. Morris, you've commented on my videos before. You want a commando roll, buddy? You're going to get yourself a commando roll because I'm in my commando outfit. Got my commando knife, my commando backpack. Commando Shimog, I'm commandoed out, baby. Commando roll, coming your way. Ready for this? Commando!